Dyslexic genius here. We're back on the Furno Grand Motor. In the last video, we took the gear train apart. But this gear here is pinned in. So if I rotate it around, you'll see the pin there. So what we do, we don't want to break anything. This is kind of like a path A. I supported this part of the gear on this 2 before, and then I stacked up wood and metal but wood on the gear to hold it in place. That way when you beat on it, we're not bending the shaft. So we come in here with a small punch. Now you hear how it got duller and there it fell out. So now we'll pull this over here. We don't want to lose that pin. And now this comes apart. So why do we do all this? When's the next time you're going to oil inside here? So you pull this out and you can see how this is all dry. So on reassembly we're going to be using STP for this stuff because that'll keep everything lubricated for more, many, many more years than sewing machine oil. And that's what it takes to get this part of the motor apart. Now what I have to do is I have to clean all this. I have to polish out all these bear in bearings like this, get all the crud out of all the gears. So, so I'll sit down and do that. We'll have a video on how to rebuild the governor on this. And then we'll, we'll clean all this up. And this, see, this is, this is the spindle shaft. And this gear here is the winding crank gear. This is what holds the spring barrel. And lo and behold, those two fit together. Now, when's the next time you're going to lube inside that part? I'll show you how to do it all. And that's my tip for the day.